All right, greetings, beautiful people. So, in this video, basically, real quick, I'm gonna mention and talk about you know enlightenment stuff like that. Um, you know, true enlightenment uh, would involve true enlightened person has a has respect for all living things, all people, all you know different types of people in their in their in their environment, knowing that everything is basically an extension of you. So respect for all living things. Um, you know, think of it like this. Uh, you know, even your 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 kids that you you know you created, uh, procreated, whatever. They're all lit up. I mean, they, they have all the powers that we seek as adults. They have everything. But are they mature enough to, if they were aware of this power, are they mature enough to? Handle that kind of responsibility because again with, with great power comes great responsibility, right? Um, you know kids uh, They need guidance. So see we the moment a kid comes out of the mother's womb The first thing they look for is the mother's titty. So it's like a survival thing, right? They, they, their vessel is basically looking for its survival state by any means necessary This matrix that we're in, okay? It's it's ensuring its survival by any means necessary. Okay? So people who look at things outside of themselves as the enemy, okay, you have to understand that there's a piece of you that is exactly like that. That you may not even be aware of or you don't want to confront. See, we're, nobody's I've mentioned this in my previous video, nobody's bigger than you. The only reason they appear to be bigger than you is because they're doing something that you're not, but they're really not bigger than you. See, if you do and practice what it is they do with 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 discipline and focus, okay, you can achieve that also. All right, but you would have to do the work. So in actuality, and, and it, it starts from the mindset, but a lot of the times it takes a spark or a motivation. But the reason that spark and motivation ain't there is because your attention may be diverted to things that aren't serving you. See, once you start to conserve your energies, okay, you're going to start to raise your frequency and vibration. Synchronicities may lead you to certain things, to look up certain things, to do certain things differently. See, people think like, oh, I want to eat cleaner, but it's so hard because I'll tell you why. See, when you clean your mind... You won't crave the dirty foods. That's the thing. You just have to clean up your mindset. And from there, it basically just comes down to how you're eating the foods and the vibrations that you're going into how you're eating the foods. I can pick, Look, food and drug is in the same category. I talked about marijuana. So marijuana, for example, I talked about when if the marijuana is vibrating lower than you and you smoke the marijuana, you're going to feel lower. So this is the people, and then people call it high, but you're actually like this, you're all, and then the munchies may be more aggressive, all right? So the, the marijuana will bring you down, but if the plant is vibrating higher than you, it's going to make you high. So this, this is basically what it's about, okay? It's, it's cleaning your vessel, being able to process and read information a lot easier, all right? And, and I mentioned in my previous video, you know, uh, you know, about... The, the three things that are basically having hold of humanity and and which is something I got from Brother Panic's lecture, which is basically repetition, symbolism and trauma. All right. Now, I mentioned first and foremost, if I wanted to level up even in the system outside of me, when I wanted to become a manager, I learned by watching the managers outside of me and learning from their mistakes. I can bypass the trauma part by just learning from their mistakes. So this is the beauty part about the YouTube. The YouTube is basically you're channeling the same way you try to channel energies metaphysically. We're all energy out here also. You're channeling me by looking at my video. But it's all about properly tuning in and with awareness because you see without energy, you may doze off just like you do in school. You may doze off, drowse off. You may not have things resonate with you because you, your, your energy is too low. Your frequency is too low. You're not vibrating high enough. So it takes... For you to raise your frequency, like you change the channel, then you're channeling this information properly because you're like an antenna. But if you're not properly tuned in, it's going to sound static. It's right until you get the right, the right balance, the right frequency, and then you get that right signal. Right. So 
Now, this is what I'm, I'm trying to get at. Like, if, if, if you change your mind, you change your life. You know, your energy has to go into... See, your energy is the biggest currency, the most important currency you have. See, the money, again, is, is currency to, to have you living comfortably here. A lot of people can make a lot of money, but they might be spiritually broke. Because they just learn how to earn a paycheck or invest their time into the system. But when you invest your time into the system, you get a lot more of that physical paper, right? And you can have a great relationship with that physical paper. But the whole thing is that when you pass on, okay, what do you take with you? Because what is really, what is the real abundance? You got to have the balance. See, imagine now you're self-empowered. Like you really empower yourself. Because there's the thing, there's, 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 there's flaws to the spiritual awakening thing. Where people's beliefs and all that, they start to change. And then what happens? Your reality starts to change along with it. So if you were once making money because your time was invested into the system and you have an awakening and aware of certain things, right? Now your attention ain't going to be the way to the system the way it was. Your beliefs start to change even about money. And then now what happens? Now you start to now you start to go backwards and and and, and you may lose certain things, right? But since that was making you, now people start to go depressed. They start to lose certain things. When in actuality, you see, there's the, the isolation part. I just saw a video by uh, Mastery Foolish. All right, I forgot the YouTuber that that they were um, that they were featuring, but he was talking about basically, you know, the agenda behind isolation. All right, and and how financial gurus and sp and motivational speakers they capitalize on this. But you see, the whole thing is that when you're in isolation, okay, it's like. Look at, like I mentioned in my in my older videos, when you're alone, you're all one. Don't mistake it for being lonely, right? Because all one, alone is all one. But this is where you can actually, like I, I said, in the stillness, th you see, you want to network with people, but you want to get to know yourself first and be comfortable in your own self first. When you start having this self-realization, okay, now you start to vibrate a certain way. Your vibe attracts your tribe. This is why I say, see, I went from a full time to now a part time for the reason that I want to actually invest my time now in me. And eventually, when I've gained enough of what I need out of what I am doing, because I'm still working there for a purpose, but I'm still attracting people of like minds. See, I'm not looking for them. OK, they're actually coming in and coming to me. And we're in see, from from one thing. Leads to another and eventually I find myself having a conversation with people of topics like this Where I would have been like wow man and it would happen where I would find two people in one day We connect I know nobody nobody in the state. I came from New York City. So I moved down to the state I know nobody I actually know now a few people and we're all actually people of like minds Your immediate neighbor may not be in that frequency, but it don't mean you're gonna be an asshole to them You just gotta you know be polite and understand the position that they're in but you under you have to understand you have nothing in common See, the type of topics that these people might be talking to you about are things that are not going to resonate with you, such as sports, religion, because this is a very religious state, okay? So, I like that video. I'm going to shout out Mastery Foolish in this video. If you guys uh, aren't following that YouTube channel, I will link it in the description. What I like about it is they feature different YouTubers, and they actually uh, speak on certain topics that, again, you're not going to form a belief system. You listen to everybody, Okay? That you choose to using your discernment and intuition. And if it resonates with you, then you extract the nutrients you need and then you digest the information. Okay? Don't let it form your in nation, your information in inside. Because that's a block. That's a belief system. Don't have no belief systems. Keep an open mind about everything. An open mind is just like an open hand. I can give you knowledge, you're gonna be open to receive, and you're gonna be also be able to give information. So you're gonna have that law of reciprocity working for you. You're gonna have that energy flowing in and out. Rather than just either holding stagnant energy or, you know, you taking energy being, you know, uh, stealing or, or somebody just robbing your energy and you're not able to have that reciprocity of, of energy going flowing, you know. Um, so, you know, ch children are all, you know, lit up. Their chakras all lit up. They come here all knowing. Right. But are they respond? Are they uh, are they responsible enough for that kind of power again? With great power comes great responsibility. So everybody needs that guidance. We're all spirit guides because we all know we're all in we're all having this human experience. So we inhabit this vessel. You're a spirit being. You, I mean, a spirit, and you're a human being. You're being human, okay? But you're not human. So 
We're all guiding each other out here through this channel. Again, you're channeling. You could channel physically, metaphysically, right? But you got to have awareness because with the awareness, you're able to use that intuition and discernment if it's serving you or not. If you doze off, you're still going to get the information. It's programmed in there. It's going to enter your subconscious mind, whether you're asleep or awake. But without the energy, if you doze off like you do in school, then you don't know. You're getting indoctrinated or you're getting programmed in an unfavorable way. But it all takes awareness so that you can have the energy to stay aware. That's the awareness part. <sighs> even, look, energy is the most important thing even for, it's not just, because you need energy to even get up and want to do things. But it, you need the energy to actually be able to have the awareness and hold yourself even when you're having spiritual experiences. Okay? And in my previous video, I mentioned even during the fact of when I'm having an out-of-body experience or a uh, astral projection experience, right? See, the key is to have that balance. You don't want to get too excited because you'll pop back into your body. But then if you're too relaxed, then what's going to happen is that you end up falling asleep in that experience and you won't even be aware of it. So that's why I said everything has to have a balance. See, we're all here together. Nobody's bigger. You shouldn't look up to anybody on YouTube or or you don't look up to the deities or the, the energies that you that you try to you know channel when you're doing your ritual work. You don't look up to them. You you use that as as their tools for you to use. All right? Bad, good, good, bad. There's people who I've heard on, on online talk about, oh, I mess with some some real dark shit and some dark magic. I mean, see, this is all all, all what I'm saying. Like these are immature things that you hear. You hear these things and they sound so childish and immature. And the reason I say that is because, um, you know, if you're using these tools, you use them to empower yourself, right? But if you're out to do things to people outside of you, what do you think you're doing to yourself? You're not doing no good for yourself at all. All right. So in, in actuality, if you really want to look at, you know, let's say people look at dark because this is all ego shit. People look at the dark part and say, oh, that's true power. And it is very powerful. It is very powerful, but don't forget, the stronger the villain, the stronger the hero has to be. There has to be a balance because it's all part of the same stick, all right? You're in the middle, and you have left and right to use. Le that's what we call left-hand path, right-hand path, but it's always going to be your path anyway. That's all there really is, is your path. Now, if you say, I'm a left-hand worker, then you're polarizing yourself. You might as well start calling yourself a vegan. You may as well start calling yourself all these titles. This is where you lose all your power. You say you're you're labeling something when you know you're not any of these things out here. Okay? See, if, if you limit yourself to just one side, then you're limiting your tools because you can use both sides of the spectrum. It's it's literally using the... You're a, a multi-dimensional being. You can use any, any path you want, but use it to your advantage. At the end of the day, it's only going to be your path anyway. You're, you're playing this game by yourself. You're here by yourself. Everything outside of you doesn't exist. It only matters because you. it matters to you. You materialize. That's what people say. It doesn't matter. But it only materializes like things, situations, drama. It only matters if you because it matters to you to some extent. See, a lot of people are attracted to negative energy. Okay. See, the negative energy is feminine energy. Feminine. Women are very attractive. The feminine energy. Drama is negative energy. Right. Now, that's why when you ground, you you get negative ions. So you can look at it in two ways, favorable or an unfavorable way, right? Same way with positive. You got light, right? Light may seem all kumbaya and, you know, union and togetherness. But what happens if you're in a white room and everything's light, 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 light? This shit blinds the fuck out of you, right? You're in darkness, you're blind. But if you're in the lights, it's also blinding you, right? So... See, everything out here is not, it's not to look at it as, oh, you know, the matrix is bad and all that. Listen, everything's a tool. Everything's a tool out here. Okay. Utilize it to your advantage. I mean, you have to be in appreciation that you have your five senses and that you can see. Because even for you to have an experience here, what do, what do people always tell you to do? Visualize, visualize. But let's say you never saw none of this shit out here. <laughs> what the fuck are you going to visualize? Do you know what you're going to visualize? Total darkness? 
You would have to. That's why they tell you go, go. You know, like the the, the financial gurus and and all these motivational speakers will tell you. You know, go. Uh, you know, go to um, go to an expensive car dealership and sit in the car of your choice and sit in it. You don't necessarily have to buy it. Pretend you're gonna buy it, right? But you know, fake it till you make it. But what happens? They tell you feel the steering wheel, smell the car, right? Have the experience. So you have to you have to experience the experience for you to know what you're gonna visualize. So you can actually connect all your senses to it. It's not just the visualization part, but you gotta feel a certain way in the car. You gotta get the senses smelling the, the, the new car scent, the feel of the car. So look, you got feel, smell, right? Sight, right? Fuck, lick the steering wheel, I don't give a shit. <laughs> See what the fucking car tastes like, all right? Um. Now that's why you know, I even went, I went to Brother Panic's lecture for that reason is because I wanted to be there, feel the experience. I wanted to feel it, feel the energy, the experience, the people, get to know the people. It's not the same if I'm looking at a webinar and I'm looking at the screen, you know what I mean? Just, you know, you you, you connect, you, you, you know, you, you go network. That's where your net worth, you know, you work in the net. This technology thing is great. It's awesome, but... Human interaction is, is limited now, right? Because all we do is text each other, call each other. You know, I know a lot of people online, but never met them in person. You know what I mean? And most of the time it's just basically talking through chats and using the medium of the internet. Never a human interaction. It's nothing like it. Even people, when they, when they want to find a date, they want to find a mate. What do they do? They go on Tinder, right? This is how people now meet instead of just meeting in person. Right? I mean, you can meet people all over the world. It's great. But, you know, I, the spiritual world is merged with this physical reality. And one, one reason that I actually came to that realization is even me flying in an airplane, uh, you know, last month coming from, uh, you know, from New York back here to, to North Carolina. You know, the, the clouds happened to look like a blanket. It was They were all flat, like, like a blanket. I took pictures and I'm going to print them out. I'm going to print these pictures out because I want you guys to see it. But you you see faces. These, these faces are basically, um, they, they're, they're, it's not just faces. They're, they're actual things that are there. You know what I mean? They, they, you call them gatekeepers. Call them whatever you want. But they're there. You know, and everybody on the airplane, <laughs> sleeping, snoring. And I'm the only one looking out the window. You know what I mean? With my phone out, taking pictures of these of these clouds, such an amazing thing that I was looking at, but I was literally looking at these clouds for literally like one hour as we were passing these blankets of clouds that we were going through, okay? They all had different images, faces, different bodies, animals I saw, different reptiles and, and even alligator faces, sharks, all kind of shit. Faces of certain monsters, I saw wings, you know, it's it's um, a lot of stuff that I saw. And um, it was fascinating to me at that moment. I'm sitting there on the airplane. I, I happen to have the window seat and I'm looking outside and it was just amazing. One hour, I'm mesmerized by the way the clouds just look. It look you know what it looked like? It looked like the plane was flying low over a blanket of snow where the ground was flat and it was just like a big ass blanket of snow. That's what it looked like. But over, in actuality, we were flying really high. We were flying over the clouds. But it just, you, you, it looked like we were flying very, very low. Okay? And, and, and it was just like all snow. That's what it looked like. So, I'll, I'll print those out. And I definitely want to, you know, show you on video what that looked like. Because I think that, that was amazing. Amazing experience. I think that's, um, I think that's all I wanted to cover. Uh, you know, you, you everything your imagination limitless. If you could visualize, make a movie in your mind. I mean, these thoughts, thoughts come into your head. You're the casting director, okay? And all these thoughts are auditioning for you. You notice how audition, right? And casting director. So when these thoughts come and Try to get your attention. Next. And that's it. 
That's all you got to do. But th this takes discipline. But it's not. It's only a little hard in the beginning when you got to pay attention to it and be mindful of it. But eventually, repetition. Repetition. Symbolism. Make your own uh, mantras. Okay? See, I did something where with the Wolverine character. Um, matter of fact, when I take the when I show you the pictures of the clouds, I'm gonna show you what I did with my drawings. Um, you know, certain sigils I have uh, that I have created a certain way for it to give me an image when it's light and to give me another image when it's dark. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll put those up when I have those ready. Um, And yeah, I mean, that's basically all I wanted to cover. Key here is, you know, just raise your vibration. And um, from there, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's gravy. So like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk soon.